So um, again, working with Chad, we did the four-way hip exercise. This is another great one to work on uh, his posterior chain, so his glutes and hamstrings. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use the TheraBand. This is a really great exercise to do. You can even do this before jujitsu, just kind of get those muscles activated. You're gonna take the band, put it around, kind of right above your knees. Legs are gonna start about shoulder width apart, or about hip length apart, sorry. Bring them out, just to start. Chad, you're gonna put your hands at your sides. So he's gonna lift up to where everything's in line. Keep that nice straight line. He's gonna bring the legs out. Hold for a count of five. Keep the legs up. Bring them back together, and then back down. And that's one. You wanna do about 10 to 15 of those. Up, keep that glutes engaged, keep that nice, good line. It's really good for the glutes and the hamstrings. We're kind of counteracting a lot of what, you know, jujitsu were rounded and, and kind of really crunched in. So this is just opening up. You're working on slow and controlled movement just to really activate and get those muscles to fire. So working on the glutes, the hamstrings, the abductors, the external rotators of the hip, all those muscles. So do it again, legs out, good. Hold, knees apart, back together, and then back down. So this is a great exercise to work on your posterior chain. One of the best ones you can do to really activate some of those muscles. All you need is a band and you know a mat. You feeling that, Chad? Yeah, I can start feeling that. Feeling your hips, kind of outside your hips and back of your hips. You feel anything in your hamstrings? Uh, not my hamstring, just okay. mostly just more your glutes. glutes. Okay. Good. Then one more modification. If you don't have a band, you can just simply do a single leg bridge. Again, similar concept. We're still working the, you're not working the abductors as much, but you are working the posterior chain. So it's a great sequence. So Chad's gonna keep one leg straight, one leg bent, hands can be at your sides. We're gonna lift up. Good. Keep those hips level, keep that butt up, knee straight, foot kind of pointed up that way, nice straight line, and we're gonna come back down. Try to keep those hips level, keep the hips from rotating. Up again. Again, Chad's getting good activation of the glutes, a little bit of the hamstrings too, good pelvic core strength. How's that? Yeah, that one's hard to hold. Hard to hold, yeah. It's really wanting your body's wanting to rotate, so you want to really work hard to keep your pelvis level. One more time, Chad. Five second holds is great. You're also gonna feel a little bit in this leg as well. You're getting a little activation. That was good? Yeah. So Chad's gonna work on these, kind of help build a little bit of strength around his glutes and hips. And it's also gonna be a great way to protect your knees, to strengthen your knees as well. So, Chad the Beast Harden. Thanks, buddy. You got it, brother. But that was a terrible handshake.